A Peace Corps volunteer reunited with a dog that she met abroad might lose him again. You see, her dog arrived in the U.S. from Africa last month, and now the CDC says he's got to go back, even though we got vaccinated at the airport. John Henry has more on the local effort to save this dog. Peace Corps volunteer Audrey Elam could not wait to be reunited with her dog Socrates after four months away. The pair had been separated in the African nation of Togo following the coronavirus's initial spread. He's my best friend. But Elam, an Illinois native, got some bad news in June when Socrates landed at JFK Airport in New York. I'm told that he doesn't meet CDC requirements. She said the CDC said it planned to deport Socrates Friday so he could quarantine back in Africa. Elam said the company that helped ship Socrates to the U.S. also handled his paperwork. Work. But along the way, there was a mix up. The CDC eventually found that Socrates' documents were inaccurate and that his rabies vaccine had expired. And I pled for revaccination and quarantine on my own dime. Socrates ultimately got vaccinated at JFK, but Elam says the CDC still plans to deport her dog. She says he arrived malnourished. She said the family caring for him in Togo has fallen on hard times and hasn't been able to feed him regularly. They are amazing, um, but they have their own animals to feed. We reached out to the CDC this afternoon, but have yet to receive a response. Still, many people here in D.C. are fighting on Socrates' behalf. Animal Wellness Action, a local nonprofit, says it's reaching out to lawmakers here on Capitol Hill to stop his deportation. We are in unprecedented and trying times, and the compassionate and humane solution is to allow Socrates to be quarantined here in the U.S. Even former presidential candidate Bob Dole tweeted Socrates should be able to live the American dream. Elam just hopes he can. It just seems ridiculous. John Henry, WUSA 9.